G'day guys, welcome to another tutorial video, this time on the USA Faction. The USA Faction is perhaps the best pressure nation to play in the game. They have all the special point infantry to pressure the enemy, also have the great croc, but in the middle late game they may lack some tank destroying capabilities. They are considered risky by some players, but yet again they do pack a super punch at the early game. So, I'll go through firstly the key units in my opinion. Let's see the low MP game. Uh, the M1 Garand is the best tier 1 rifle in the game which you can buy singly. And it this means it also makes a regular squad viable for USA. But to be honest, there's really no... Uh, not much contest to the Elite Marksman start in my opinion. It's probably the... yeah, it is definitely the best Elite Marksman squad in the game and arguably I think this is the best start for USA. Without a doubt, actually. Uh, it's got three Johnson rifles and two M1 Garands. Uh, they can defeat any other elite marksman squad and usually fight most uh, most other infantry squads. Then obviously supplement with single M1 Garands. You can also go assault squad if you like. Uh, not my favorite opening because it doesn't take advantage of the M1 Garands. It has more Thompson SMGs, which isn't a great SMG, and you go single with single rifles again. Or you can go a regular squad. Uh, obviously with the rangers, just got to be wary of fighting three flag points. Because with the rangers, that's the the downside with the rangers is you only can go for pretty much one to 1.5 flags. Then you once you take it one flag, you move on to the other. That's the downside of the rangers. Not having the numbers to go for many flags. Uh, one of the weaknesses though of USA at the start, they don't have 20mm emplacements. Or 20mm light vehicles. And this is... This is, yeah, this is the worst thing about USA at the start middle, uh, start to middle. But they do have, I suppose, the half track. So half track is, I guess, a standard buy for um, most infantry assaults. Expendable, expendable vehicle that can take an infantry quickly. Also, you do have uh, the Willys Jeep start in team games if you like. Willys Jeep plus M1 Garands. They go good as any other nation. The Jeeps are a good start in team games where you're only fighting over one flag. Uh, then you also have, as a start, what's, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, you can also go, I suppose, as a second buy or third buy, a second buy maybe, of the M20. I think it was the M20, it doesn't really have a timer, so you can get it quite early. And you use it to rush the enemy, the enemy most likely by a looks or a 2 2 to counter. So you just got to quickly take out what you can and get into position to either take out the 2 2 at close range, because the 50 cal can do so or you can uh, run away and bait the two looks to looks to the M380 gun that you may buy. Remember the M uh, the M20 does have a bazooka. You can get, give this to one of your troops. And also if you go to the elite marksman start, you can also grab the 50 cal from this and use use it with the elite marksman. Which does have uh, increased accuracy. Excuse me. Uh -oh, just ate too much. Um, so, uh, other than that, uh, the st uh, special points at the start, you have pretty good choices. Uh, you have a few choices, really only two choices for the one special points. M8 howitzer, great on some maps. You can obviously shoot over an arc, it's a HE shell howitzer. So take out emplacements. It isn't very accurate and its shell is only 75mm, so it does take a few shots to usually kill emplacements, such as the flak, uh, flak or 20mm of type 2. From the Japanese. Um, you also have the 30 cal Browning. This is pretty, pretty good compared to the uh, Axis squad. Axis only has they don't have infantry to to dom to dominate like this does. So similar to the Black Watch, just you have the M1 Garands plus the 30 cal. I think this is great. Just to pressure the enemy. Uh, then you've got uh, I guess you can call Marines the second stage. Marines are pretty good too. They come with a lot of M1 Garands plus. Uh, Plus this, uh, what is it called? The Johnson LMG. Got it, sir. Very good for pressure. It's a 10-man squad. Not like a usual uh, normal squad. Very good for pressure. The enemy doesn't have what you have. Yes, like the sir. Brandenburgers don't have the firepower you have. Uh, so as the home guard, I think. Uh, then you have the Devil's Brigade. Devil's Brigade is a different option, I guess, if you want to... Let's say if you've got a tank that you know that's going to be countered soon. Devil's Brigade could be a good one to go for to ambush enemy tank that will try attack your weaker tank. So let's say you've got a Stuart 
enemy buys a P3 or a Panzer 4, or you get a Croc, enemy buys a H, you can use that tank, your tank, to bait the H to come closer, and you got this guy to shoot. Good thing about the Devil's Brigade is, compared to the Brandenburgers, it does have extra 5 range. Bazooka is 35 to 30, so it's pretty far. Uh, so the enemy, you can really waltz up to the enemy. Let's say that tractor's an enemy tank. He, the enemy can't see you from 15 range once again. So let's see, let's just have a look how far it is. Pretty much right there. So I could shoot. If the enemy was right here, that one there, that's the enemy. I can shoot and he still won't see me. So I will have taken out the tank. So you can see how far you need to be in front. Bam. Great unit. Uh, two. Two bazookas and two normal guys. The pistols are actually quite good. They do extra damage compared to other pistols. They're not too bad. Um, so I actually use them to move forward sometimes on hold fire. Then I just open open fire when the enemy's closer. Just right click on them. So two very viable and viable choices in the two special point units. Um, other than that, that's a start game. So you got the middle MP, MP tier game. This is where your special unit, the Croc, shines. Uh, really, there's no other nation which has a tank which sh with such pushing ability uh, for free. <laughs> Three special points at that stage of the game. You've got the Marta, which is really a non-buy unless you're so desperate. And there's no nothing else at three special points uh, for other, any other nation. There's, they've got the half tracks. Yeah, really, this is this is it. This is your baby. And this is what makes you say a pressure nation with the infantry, marines plus thirty cal. Use it, use it with the advantage of the combo of those uh, special infantry to get, uh, I guess, damage. Because while you're while you're pressuring with all these these infantry, so the cal, US marines, infantry, you got the better rifles than the enemy. Uh, the enemy should be on the back foot with uh, spending his MP, and he won't be able to easily afford a counter for the croc. And you just seal the deal and just kill everything in the field. Hopefully, <laughs> this croc just makes you keep pressuring the enemy. Um, so. Uh, yeah, just just ensure yeah, just ensure that you are pressuring the enemy. Otherwise, the croc may be countered easily by a H or Stug uh, if you don't do it properly. Uh, just make also with the croc, make sure you and your fighting Germans you have infantry in front. Because Brandenburg is a U.S. enemy with the croc because it comes in two special points. Uh, croc is out afterwards, uh, and Japanese watch out for the 75 millimeter AA. Uh, you can take out with this croc it's with Shermans. You can any Sherman or Croc. Croc does have extra armor, you know. The Croc actually has the armor of a, I believe this, so 64, 64, 51, 76. So you've got the armor of the 76 Sherman. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on this, but I am quite sure on that. Let me know if you think, uh, if you know otherwise. But that's from what I know. Um. So also you can you got the Bofors. I guess this can be a pretty good gun. This is the same gun as the uh, Crusade AA. Just gotta, just kills infantry, can kill light vehicles, lock down the map for any looks. So this in combination with the croc, it can be good. And that's pretty much it. You've got other units, that I guess they're not staple. You can call the Stuart staple if you want to. Um, really, that that's it. I guess you've got the 76 too. It's been lowered in price. <laughs> it could be a decent counter for the H, or more like a 50, 60, sorry, 40, 60 versus the H. Uh, you also got the Rangers. I really like these. I think this is pretty. These are pretty key to some situations. The cool thing about the Rangers is the recoilless rifle. If you look at the AT Infantry tutorial, you'll see the penetration of all the weaponry. Uh, this penetrates 100 millime millimeters. The recoilless rifle, and can take it a Tiger frontally if it's not angled. Good thing about this, it's 40 range. You think it, it doesn't make much of a difference, but with the bazooka, the range percentage is quite quite significant, and it, it makes it more viable in lots of situations, so it's really good. And it's quite accurate, as you can see. Let's just try this. Cool. <laughs> I like flying at the infantry to kill, kill uh, infantry. <laughs> Alright, so you've also got, uh, let's, say uh, let's say the late game now. The late game you have uh, the 105s, always good. These units do do killing placements quite easily. You can shoot behind a hill, obviously. Uh, it's not that strong frontally. At this stage of the game, the enemy might have counters for it, like a H. You just sit behind a hill and hit killing placements, and you can hit tanks. Uh, tanks will get tracked, may get turreted, may even get hull damage. You can, um, yeah, you can take out tanks eventually with this uh, unit as well. 
And you can shoot from the safety. Uh, oh, then you have these. These are the units, I guess. These are okay. I won't really mention it, I suppose. Mm, you could say this could be this could be a, a unit that you might need. Uh, fun fact: this can go toe to toe with veteran tiger. Veteran tiger needs to get closer to you to kill you, than you to him. So, if you're using it well, you can take it a veteran tiger. The problem with this is obviously it's not as fast, not as accurate as the veteran tiger, and it doesn't do the job as well. Doesn't do, I guess, killing other things as well because the reload rate is slower. So once you, if you had the veteran tiger on the field, you could probably track this quite easily, flank it, or just sit back and do a better job than he can at killing other things in the field. Um, that's the problem with this 76. But in a 1v1 duel versus a tiger, when he doesn't track you, you should be okay. That's the jumbo 76, guys. I didn't mention it. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. I really forgot one super unit. That is great. Um, that you need. M3 AT gun. <laughs> you definitely need that. Uh, this is the Japanese especially. Because of the hard guard Type 92's. Rushes. You can buy this at the second buy or the third buy. Uh, it's very accurate. It's a pretty good light AT gun. 27 penetration. Uh, and it's... You can also snipe infantry. So if you go over here. If, let's say the, the enemy sniper. You can use this to take out the enemy sniper. It's very accurate. Uh, eventually, it gets a bit small. You can see the cursor, and doesn't want to be good today. There you go. So it, it's uh, usually better. There's a weird angle right there, and the sandbag's a bit funny too. So it's good for those purposes. Taking out the looks as well for versus the Germans, uh, two two twos, twenty millimeters. Uh, a late game is pretty good too, especially if you don't have tank superiority. You can sit this back and hold fire, then take out. 20 millimeter looks and 2 to 2s then walk run away so you, the enemy tanks can't kill you. There it is. Um, those are the key units. I'll go through every other unit in more detail now. Okay, so going to the infantry squads, conscripts, as per usual, use this to bulk up your forces. That's, that's a pretty good one. Assault infantry, I don't particularly like this. Pretty sure they are the one of the worst assault squad infantry in my opinion for price. A regular squad, quite viable. I go this sometimes in, I guess, middle of the game, or, or after I bought maybe a few other squads. Just more firepower, I suppose, and more numbers. Uh, airborne, I quite like these. I got decent uh, rifles again. Uh, the airborne carbine, M2 carbine, I believe. So M1, A1 carbine. Then you got the rangers. I love these, as I said before, because of the recoil rifle. They have more chances of really getting to getting into a good position to take out the enemy. Uh, making those rangers, I actually don't mind this too because I love the rangers. I just really do. They're my f uh, favorite uh, special infantry. Uh, bit of long range though. They do have the Johnsons. Then you have the these are no 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 maybe for dynamite uh, over here riflemen. Yep, definitely single rifles are great to start. Arguably, definitely the best. I don't think I've gone through a test shoot. There we go, let's just shoot, bam bam. Uh, then you got the SMG, not great. I guess if you need an SMG, it's, there's not, I guess, a huge difference between SMGs. I'll, you can say there is, there is actually. <laughs> but if you want an SMG to just guard a, guard an area, but really M1 Garand's are the choice, definitely. You don't want to waste your money on SMGs. Uh, shotgunners, 60 MP, arguably no good anymore. No one's actually been using it. Uh, I don't think they're worth it, but they're very unique, guys. They're very unique. They used to be... Okay, for you new players, they, they used to be the most overpowered thing in the game. This was basically bought or spammed in all tournament games in, in AS2 at the very start and AS1. Uh, it's been basically the bane of the existence. That's why USA was the most favoured nation in all tournaments in the past. So they knock out units, you can see. So basically a whole squad comes running to you. These guys can knock them all out. And they have no weaponry, so they work well with other infantry. Um, also, they uh, yeah, they make other infantry useless, so so pretty unique uh, in their knockback effect. Hmm, I don't know if you can think about the ways they use it. They're pretty expensive in CP too. Maybe mix them up with a conscript squad. I don't know. Hopefully, you can make it work. But 60 MP that is that is five M1 Garands. Uh, I don't know which one you prefer. I would prefer the M1 Garands. Maybe at super close range. There used to be 40 MP, by the way. <laughs> big, big nerf. <clears throat> so, 
<coughs> 80 infantry, 70, not too bad. Not too bad for price, decent one. Uh, MG, mm, no. 50 MP for this BR. MG, MGs in general are bad. Uh, especially, yeah, in all, in all cases. For, for price. But I guess if you, if you have a lot of money, uh, they're not, not that bad. They're not bad at all. Just not at the start, because the money counts. Every single cent counts. Uh, hopefully they do buff MG, so if they do buff MGs in the patch after this, I uh, please reconsider my my um, opinion there. Uh, elite Marksman, super. Elite AT infantry, not worth the money. Elite Support Infantry, similar boat, just not worth the money. Especially with the BAR. Uh, flamethrower, definitely useful behind hills, as you know. For all, the, all other nations, these, these are all the same. So go to the Transport and Procument. Uh, Willie's Jeep, good for team games. Willie's AT, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> the Jeep armor is quite hard to kill. There was a time in, in AS2 and AS1 where the Jeep armor was really weak where you can get un injured in one shot. But I don't know about, I don't know if you've been sticking around guys, but the Jeep has improved in armor since by a lot. It's actually been nerfed, uh, nerfed uh, once after too, so it's not as great as it used to be. Uh, not as crap as it used to be long, long time ago. So it's somewhere in between where it can take a lot of hits now. And if it doesn't get hit by a HE shell, Lots of small arms fire will struggle to kill it. You can just waltz up to a veteran tiger or something and go bam, bam. It's quite accurate. Quite accurate. So I think that's very viable for a YOLO charge. Uh, half track, expendable, uh, great for killing infantry. All the same for other nation these, these trucks are. Heavy MG, it's very situational as you know, not too great. Maxim, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, it's, it's great at shredding. It can shred sandbags, shred cover. And just good at killing infantry. Uh, maybe, uh, you may, maybe I guess it's pretty cheap for price, so it's kind of worth it. But not as great as it, obviously the twenty millimeters. So it's so so weaponry, but that's a that's the downside of USA. Uh, twenty twenty mils there. Uh, M1 mortar for price, not in a proper game unless you're playing someone that doesn't want to move and attack. Yeah, <laughs> uh, M380 gun, uh, great. M180 gun, pretty good for price, 225. The thing is, uh, you've got to think about 80 guns in general. Some nations don't have good ones. The reason is because of the price. Because you've got to think about what it can counter. The M180 gun can counter things because uh, versus the Axis, you're fighting units with maximum armor of 50 frontally. So you can basically take it out at max range. So you've got to look at the, the penetration of what you're fighting at the time. So this will win at 2225 MP versus the German tanks of 400 MP, etc. So it can be viable. Uh, M580 gun. This is where you question the viability, because, um, yeah, because at maximum range, you, you can penetrate the um, medium tanks of Germans, but they're pretty much the same price. You can't penetrate a H. The, the Panzer H has got 80 armor. You can penetrate the turret, but this guy's not very accurate either. So you'll probably get AP shelled by the H before you can kill it, and the H will destroy you. So for 425 MP, you don't buy this to really counter Panzer threes, you know? You, you buy this. So in my opinion, the M580 gun is not great for price. But obviously if you have a lot of MP, it will be better than this one, but um, for, at what cost? Uh, 40, 40 mm bofers. Uh, I mentioned it already. Great for killing infantry. Uh, howitzers, again, not worth the price. Uh, doesn't do any damage <laughs> for that, the MP that you, you buy. Unless maybe once you play 5v5, 6v6, one guy goes this, but you don't want to go this anyway because the one guy would probably go the Calliope. Uh, forgot to mention the Calliope. Sorry guys, that's definitely a key unit. Uh, how it's as bad. Uh, Calliope, it's just the best unit for killing anything, for killing lots of shit. Um, so sorry, their rockets have the biggest spread out of every any sort of rocket or any sort of artillery. So this would just clear off an area in the map. So if the enemy has an AT gun in the area plus lots of infantry, they're all dead um, because of this. They've got they've got tons of two barrages. You go bam, 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 bam. Look at that! This kills everything in the area that you shoot at. It's quite expensive though, but that's why you don't buy it in in small games. Because the enemy will be able to overwhelm you to your spawn if you save up for this. But in team games, you can kind of big team games, you can kind of compensate with your teammates holding while you, you save for this. And this can make devastating impact on enemy emplacements and be a good support weaponry to take out infantry throughout the whole game. Oh no! 
Shit, did I cap a flag? I'm an idiot. Uh, what else do I have to show you? I've still got a bit to go. Sorry guys, it's a bit of an interruption in the tutorial. I'll reload it once again. <laughs> um, shit, what a long one. I've been talking quite in quite detail on the units. Hope you find it useful. Come on. Alright, so you've got your Calliope, then you've got your M20, great for, I guess, for rushes. Uh, the thing is, this, this, it, sorry, I forgot to mention that the price is 180 compared to the half track. Generally, throughout the game, you want to go this. So you want to go this, the half track, because it's cheaper. Uh, plus, this guy gets uh, killed quite often at the top. He doesn't have as much hit points as your Mr. Half Track guy. Only thing you, you'll need this one for is for a rush, because the half track does have the timer on it. And if you really want the bazooka. Uh, so you, M16, similar boat, I guess a bit more expensive than the others, just comes with a quad 50 cal. Um, I suppose not really worth it, because the other ones will do pretty much a similar amount of damage. Uh, turret's relatively slow. Not a super great buy, but it's okay. It's it's decent. If you need a, a 50 cal and what quad, instead of uh, the others, just pay a bit extra. Uh, Greyhound, not too bad actually. Uh, it's pretty cheap at 260 MP, meaning it's just a bit more expensive than the looks. And you can take out the looks. If the looks, uh, if you're far away, so stay at max range versus the looks. And try to take it out. Good thing with this, it comes with 50 cal as well, so after you take the looks, you can charge and kill, kill infantry. Problem with this, obviously, it is quite weak. So once the looks gets into killing range, you're dead. Look at the body. Max range, you are dead. Especially uh, the turret's weak. Uh, it says it's 19, but you can get hit from the turret quite easily. Uh, Stuart, if you can wait a bit longer, this is a standard counter for those looks. Uh, good thing about the Stuart. Uh, yeah, the 20 mils can't take it out, so you can kill everything. Problem with the Stuart is you don't want to be fighting this. As it, When you find the Japanese, they're going to have tanks, which are half your price, and can kill you. <laughs> same, same as them. So versus Japanese, perhaps not the great buy. M380 guns probably a better buy. Versus Germans, I think this is a decent buy. Uh, problem is the P3 is a bit more expensive and will come take you out possibly. You just got to make sure you're in distance to fight him because you have better accuracy and faster reload. Just shit out penetration, but you can penetrate the P3 at close range. So it's a decent tank, support tank. Its MGs are pretty good as well. Lots of 30 cows on it. Can be used as support to infantry to assault. Chaff it. 380, generally not worth it because of the armor. It's got paper thin armor at 2538. What you're trying to fight with this is pretty much a Panzer 3, which is cheaper, or Panzer G. You can take it out. You can take them out, no doubt, at almost maximum range. Problem though, they can take you out at maximum range as well. And you are more expensive than the P3. Generally not worth it. Unless you want to just play super light tank fast, uh, YOLO charges. M19, 425 MP. <laughs> uh, some people mistake this for a Crusader AA 40 mil. It's no way as good. It's got best better fire rate, but a huge reload time. Look at this. One, the the you have to count your bullets, and it's it's really hard to get into. I suppose a continuous fire mode. Sure, you can kill it, but you don't need to. You don't need to fire that many times so fast, and then you've got this huge reload time where you're susceptible to get killed. The other thing is, it's not the armor is not glitchy, so you get shot, you die, in, compared to the 40 mil Crusader AA the UK have. Um, you'll probably crew injure it a lot of times. M20, M19 will die to anything. 20 mils, 20 millimeter can take out the M19 too. Um, and see how shit the armor is. So. Not not that great, but I guess if you can time it right and be in the right position, it can it can be it can be okay. That's very easily killed. Uh, M3 Lee not in competitive. Uh, I've got test mode on. That is why Scott. Mm -mm, I don't think it's great, but it's a questionable buy. I guess it's decent versus on some maps. Just if you have a hill behind to hide behind, just shoot it above. As all howitzers, you can take out emplacements. Uh, what do we have? We've got the Sherman. Sherman, decent buy as well. The uh, thing is with the croc, it does take a while to get to the timer, so you can get the croc. You can sometimes bank for a Sherman, and the, thing is, the good thing about Shermans compared to other, other German tanks is it's great infantry support, because it's got a 50 cal. So it's a decent bank to go, and 
the X, the allied nations don't really have a super counter for it. They can go 50-50 or even, the, they can go Chinu, Panzer G, but really um, the Sherman usually stands a better chance because of the angling. It can angle a bit better. I think more of a chance to hit the angled front. So it's a, I, I like the Shermans for an early, early tank push. Uh, 76, it's been nerfed, sorry, it's been buffed a lot. I think it was 800 MP on release, plus uh, some other, I think some accuracy, accuracy was worse too. So it's 650 MP, pretty much almost the same price as the H, can go toe-to-toe, -to -toe. can take out the H's turret very well. Not too easy to penetrate as well, it's 64-64. So it's a decent counter for a H now, uh, versus a Cheeto, no. Versus Japanese, you can counter a Chinu, other heavier tanks, no. But definitely viable now. If it's counter the H, Stuck will struggle. It will struggle versus the Stuck. You just gotta uh, track it and then flank it. Uh, Jumbo, I guess, can be decent in some situations. Um, if you're really desperate for a tank and don't have money for anything else to fight tigers and of the sort, or if you want to just take out all, be the an early bank to a Jumbo and take out all the enemy mediums. Uh, Jumbo can be used to take out veteran Tigers in conjunction with Radio Op. So you can use this to track the enemy. Tiger will struggle to penetrate this, but you won't be able to kill the Tiger for sure. You got ship penetration, so you're just you're just going to try track things with a Radio Op to kill. There's something else to kill it. Um, it's not very great, but can be used in some situations. Wait a bit further, you got the Pershing. Uh, this is decent. Can take out. It's get pretty close to take out the Tiger though. Um, it's okay, the gun's not that great in my opinion, for a heavy tank. Mm, can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, some units, but really, versus the German heavies, it's okay. Um, <laughs> versus the veteran Tiger, he has more chance of hitting you because it's got a faster reload rate. And it'll get a lucky main gun shot, so it's not a bad tank. Um, not, not, a, not a great tank killer though in my opinion, not a great heavy tank killer. Uh, then you get the tank destroyers. These you don't know if you're following the the my balance changes notes, but these have improved in accuracy. So on the move, they're still accurate. You can see the cursor; it's still accurate. They've got balances or something. That's what uh, instinct calls them. Wow, I didn't mean to kill that one. <laughs> uh, on the move, they're accurate. Uh, also, um, they've been decreased in price, as you can see. So it can be good for Yolo charge. Problem with the Hellcat is you can't even take out a H at max range. So that's a problem. Um, it can probably fight G's and Panzer 3's because it's got extra range and it's quite accurate now. What, 10 plus extra range? Or for a yellow charge, I suppose, it's decent. Wolverine, pretty much a similar similar boat, just a bit better armor. Uh, Slugger, uh, 650 MP. It's relatively cheap now, to be honest, but still, I like the 17 pounders better, or the Achilles. But still decent, I guess. It's got balances as well. Quite accurate on the move. I'm not a fan of the um, heavy 80 gun, heavy gun of the slugger. Uh, then you have on this side, come, uh, I've gone through how made howitzer, 30 cal, 30 cal standard for pressure. Combat engineers, not really great. They've only got a few guys. You can see that their units, they got uh, two two um, skill in the units. That's pretty much it. And they got the crappy, uh, what do you call this? A uh, grease gun. Got satchels, not bad, but not great. Take out, uh, I guess if you want to take out buildings and stuff so badly, but I don't know if it's worth it to do that. Um, then you've got the uh, US Marines great for pressure, Devil's Brigade great for taking out tanks in stealth. Sorry, the baby's crying in the background. One of first airborne, pretty uh, okay, I guess. It comes with a half track. Remember, it comes with 18 infantry now for you AS1 players. Croc, uh, what they're one of their main great units in the game. Radio up, good, good, as in with all nations, 105, good as stated before, mass production, not really. Uh, you don't really need 276s at 6-pointer, pretty much you're fighting veteran tigers nearly at that point, and these guys have zero chance versus veteran tiger, unless you get super close, which is very unlikely. Uh, Jumbo can be bought to, can be bought to, so I guess, stay on the field to take out units and survive any hits from heavy tanks. Uh, can go toe to toe one v one with a veteran tiger, Pershing, super Pershing. Uh, this is probably yeah the, the better I suppose alternative to take out 
uh, German heavy tanks. If you have the MP, I wouldn't recommend this as any game, uh, 3v3 and under. Maybe one big team game, uh, one of your one of your uh, guys go this just in case you lose the start game. But generally speaking, you want to go all out as you were saying. So potentially all three or well, four of you go all out with all these crocs and marines overwhelm the enemy to spawn. But if you want to play a bit safer, you have something off your back sleeve, the Super Pershing is a great unit to take out, I guess, veteran tigers and the sort. The gun has the penetration to, to do it, other than the uh, 90mm M3, the 90mm M15's got a uh, pretty decent pen. There you go, USA Nation. Uh, what is the USA Nation all about? It's a very good pressure nation with all these special points to overwhelm the enemy. Uh, they do maybe lack a bit of the middle to late game tank busting capabilities, so they're considered risky if you fail to start. Um, but a very good nation with arguably the most uh, favoured start, the Elite Marksman Rangers. See you around guys, hope you enjoyed.